Yokozuna versus Crush. Bro, this was so much better than I thought. I agree. It was boring. Yes. But it was it was good. In the granny scale, I was expecting a one or a two. I got like a three. Oh, come on. Four? A three? It was I, I'd, very give, I'd give this a solid four and a half. It was very I can't quite go five. Yokozuna was awesome. Dude, Yokozuna yes. is fucking great. In the first minute and last minute, and in between, he did nerve pinching. Just pinch that nerve. Get a good pinch on there and just not move for 10 minutes at a time. Brother, it's called idiot proofing a match. That's you know what true. Crush can't screw up? Getting his nerve Laying pinched? on the mat in a nerve pinch. Yeah. You cannot screw it up. You just lay there. I do want to talk about how awesome Yokozuna was. Because Yokozuna please. was fucking awesome. He does this, he misses an elbow drop, takes his, jumps as high as he can, which is awfully high for a 500 pound man. Goes flat on his back, pops right back up to his feet to feed Crush, takes his big boot, takes his awesome bump through the ropes to the floor. Yokozuna was amazing. Dude, he took a bump later for some stupid move Crush did. Crush, like, gave him a boot or something. Fucking Yokozuna jumps straight up in the air. He flaps his arms like he's trying to fucking take off. And he may have. He takes a giant-ass fucking bump on his hard-ass ring. This was the hard rings, everybody. That's true. This is not the rings that had give. And, man, this guy was taking bumps. His offense looked great. His bumping was great. His selling was great. And, you know, I can't quite go so far as to say what I'm about to say, but when you really think about the history of WWE, it's it's almost, but not quite, the story of the Samoan dynasty. Like, oh, that's the big there part, have right? been so many yeah. Samoans that have been put in these these top positions. I mean, you know, all the way back. I mean, the Wild Samoans were like, yes. you know, but the, the, today they talk about them like they're the greatest tag team of all time. Well, they were tag team and, champions. And you know, you had you had Yokozuna, and even you know he wasn't a world champion, but like Fatu when he was doing that gimmick with Scotty Too Hot, he was Rikishi. a big star. Rock Rikishi. Uh, now Roman Reigns, the Usos, Umaga, Umaga. It's been freaking decades. Yep. Decades. This company has been built around Samoans. Yeah, Yokozuna was awesome. Fucking awesome. Yokozuna was trying to do everything to make Crush, Crush's horrible offense look decent. He was bumping like a madman for him. Um, a man that big taking those big bumps is something to watch. It was a clothesline. Crush at a clothesline in his yeah, comeback, yeah. and Yoko just, Yoko just he leaped in the air, flopped around, took this big ass. <sighs> it bump. was amazing. Yes. He, yeah, was he was great. I remember as a kid, I always thought Yokozuna was a great worker. And then I got older, and you know, other people said he really wasn't all that great. And I was like, I seem to remember he was fucking great. And uh, now that I'm looking back again, I was right. He was fucking great. Yeah, as as Vinny will discuss in just a minute, Crush was was uh, going to be laid out, and Yoko was doing everything that Crush should have been doing to make him look good. So, Crush is making his comeback. Hits a top rope shoulder block, gets a 2.9 count, and Vince is talking about what a great champion Crush would have been. And so Crush goes up top and tries it again. This is actually funny because he's Crush, a 6'6 or whatever, 300-pound monster. And he's on the top rope, and Mr. Fuji from the floor just whacks him with his flagpole, literally an old man with a cane almost, and Crush screams and goes flying off to the floor. <laughs> that made me laugh. But it cut him off, and so Yoko hits a slam on the floor, throws him in, hits the belly-to-belly, -belly, the big-ass leg drop, the bonsai drop, and pins him. Yoko was great. And then there are more bonsai drops. and Five. Five total. I believe there were five, and they were playing it up like, my God. Mm -hmm. Hacksaw oh. took three, and he was out of action for forever. Yeah. And, man, this crush is taken. And then later they're talking about how Savage, because Savage goes down finally to help you pull Crush's body out of the wreckage. Yes, no one else can help him. No, and, uh, you know, then later Bobby Heenan's noting, you went backstage with Crush and you came back with, what did he say? Like watery eyes or something like that? Insinuating it was so bad the macho man Randy Savage was crying over his fallen friend. It's like the one thing Vince knows how to do is he knows how to make a monster heel. And this Yokozuna was, you know, originally he was going to put over Lex Luger so Luger could be the new Hulk Hogan, new American hero. And, man, they were creating a fucking monster for this American hero to beat. And uh, this, I thought this whole thing was great. The match, Yoko's performance, the destruction of Crush, 
The way they played it up is like, oh my God, how will he ever come back from five? What happens if this happens to Luger? I thought this was great. So yes, eventually uh, Savage is there to pull Crush to safety and ward Yokozuna off with a chair. They go to break. When they come back, Crush is stretchered out. And who is there standing next to him but Tatanka? Glad he finally showed up. <laughs> Way to lend a hand. Heenan is on a tirade. This is a new Yokozuna. Uh, Yokozuna had the uh, the uh, geisha girls out there to give him flowers. But he takes the flowers and smashes them against the ropes. And then he tears Crush apart. Heenan says it's a new Yokozuna. It's all Lex Luger's fault. And now Lex is going to have to deal with it. Yoko is going to put you in a body cast. I believe he said this man is dangerous with a capital Z. <laughs> well, Yoko Zuna. I guess that's true. Yes. Speaking of Samoans, the Head Shrinkers. Is- By the way, what a promo that Bobby cut. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, Yoko Zuna's got Fuji, who sucks. He ain't cutting great money promos. No. And uh, even though it has been established in canon that Yoko Zuna speaks perfect English, he's not allowed to talk. Yeah. So finally, that Heenan here cut the money promo for this match with Luger. And it was great. When I mean, yeah. you think about Heenan, you think about him comedy, doing, doing comedy. No, this guy's a great promo. Yes. And Vinny has driven all the way here, and his camera's now working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. Oh, all right. Yep, we go that way. Yeah, nope, I, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, oh, there hey. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.